into ooh, hi everybody happy new year i hope you had a great new year if you're still here that means you did have a great new year a lot of people didn't make it into this new year but god bless them and we are here so as you guys know i'm healing from narcissistic abuse and i'm also a believer i'm a believer in the lord jesus christ i love him very much without him there is no me and i wouldn't be here today so this video is just really really short um as i was reading the scriptures you know it just was uh, i read something in regards to god um you know blessing his blessed are his children that have been chastised let me read it blessed is the man whom thou chastisest O lord and teaches him out of thy law so when you think of being chastised, you are being corrected, you're being disciplined, um, you're being held back, you know, you're not being allowed to just run free and be who you want to be or do what you want to do, you know. And as I look back on my life, my whole life has been that way. It has been God holding me back. And God will hold us back in many different ways, you know, in many different ways. He'll hold us back in um, us not being able to get the jobs that we want to get, to make enough money to be independently happy or to be independently somewhat, you know, sustaining ourselves. Um, I know for me, he held me back in, in that area of finances. I was always held back. I didn't have enough money to pay my rent. I didn't have enough money to turn around. But um, at the time, it was very painful, you know, because it's like, I want to be like everybody else. I want to, you know, do this. I want to do that. I want to live like this. I want to have this. I want to have that, you know. And so it's frustrating, you know, because you just don't understand why, you know, everybody else gets to live and get to be. And then you're not able to live and you're not able to be who you want to be, you know. And, uh, and so I, I was angry in that you know seeing everybody flourishing and growing and, and going and here i am just stuck you know and and no matter what i did it was just like the same humdrum uh thing going on in my life but that's when i wasn't a believer but now that i'm a believer i can actually appreciate the times that god held me back i can appreciate his long arm protecting me and keeping me and not allowing me to experience a whole lot of things that a lot of people around me were experiencing so god does have a plan and his plan is good so sometimes he'll hold us back by with evil people you know evil people narcissists people that are are controlling us he'll put us in situations that are just you know not good they're awful at the time and we look at god and we say well god wouldn't do that god wouldn't no god wouldn't um intentionally bring harm or evil to his children but god will use everything to discipline his child and so he will use that narcissist he will use that controlling boyfriend or that controlling girlfriend or that controlling husband or that controlling wife you know or that job or that boss that is just hard to get along with you know he'll use everything for his children and for his child and he'll use it for our good we don't see it at that time as being good but it really is to our good you know and while we're in those situations there's nothing that the, the devil can really do to us or the narcissist can do to us that god doesn't allow you know, and so having come out and having, um, uh, uh, having come to the other side by God's grace, you know, it's nothing that I've done, but having come over to the other side, now I can really appreciate those times of not having a lot, living in lack, you know, um, just uh, being a, a, um, a, a humble person, you know, because that's really what it was. I was just, God humbled me and, and God will humble his children and he will set his children apart, his kids. He will set, them, set some of them apart. So if God has gone through all those extremes to set us apart, to humble us, that means he has something great for us. And that simply means that if you come to the road of healing and you come to the road of awakening, then that means that God is getting ready to do something wonderful in your life, okay? So again, let me read this scripture 
It's Psalm 94 as verse 12 and it says, Blessed is the man whom thou chastisest, O Lord, and teacheth him out of thy law. Now 13 says that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked. So see, by God um, humbling us and chastising us, he's also digging a pit for the wicked. He's also setting them up for a day of pure uh, hell. You know, the hell that they put us through, that hell and more hell of it is awaiting them as well. So nothing goes without God's uh, final say. You know, he says to his children, I love you so much that I'm going to set you apart. This setting apart is not going to be easy. It's not going to be comfortable. You're not going to like it, but it's all done in love. He's setting us apart also to set up the wicked, to bring them down to a pit of hell and to a pit of their ending destruction. So it's all working out for the good of God's children, for those who will love him. I love him, and I know if you're listening to me, you love him too. So be blessed that God has disciplined you and he has chastised you, for it is good. Stay on your healing journey. You are a champion. You can do it. You are somebody, and you are very valuable. God bless you all, and be blessed.